Hello, Jacksonville High School seniors, Jacksonville High School parents of those seniors, and all Jacksonville community members. This is Mr. Peacock with some very, very, very important announcements and reminders about our upcoming 2020 graduation. So students and parents, we are extremely excited to announce to you today that we will be planning on hosting an in-person graduation in our beloved Tomato Bowl at 8 p.m. on Tuesday, June 2nd. Now, I want to encourage everybody to watch Dr. Kelly's video that he's going to send out that steps through some guidelines. We wanted to take some time today to inform you of several very important things that you need to know between now and June 2nd. But before we get to that, I want to say a few things. First off, uh, seniors, parents, community members, we have worked very, very hard as a district and as a campus to put this together. And we will continue to work very hard in the next few days and the next few weeks to make this graduation a reality. Also want to encourage everybody, please be patient, please be flexible, and please be supportive. Uh, this situation is changing pretty much every day. The state, the county, our school district is keeping an eye on COVID-19 cases. There is a chance that the details you are going to hear today might change. So please stay in touch with us. Please keep an eye on the district social media pages, the district and campus web pages, and the news so that you stay on top of things. If things get canceled or postponed or any changes are made, we are going to update you just as soon as we can. But the rest of this video is going to be a reference source for you in the next few weeks, things that you can watch, a place where you can go to get all the information you need. So, 8 o'clock at night, Tuesday, June 2nd, 2020, class of 2020, graduation. Here we go. First thing I want to talk to you guys about is something very, very important. Later on today, we are going to email to all of our 2020 seniors a survey. This is an extremely important survey, students. This will come to your inbox in your school email. You will click on the link and it will take you to a Microsoft form survey that you have to fill out if you want to participate in the 2020 graduation ceremony. I'm going to repeat that. This is a mandatory survey. Guys, we need to know in order to plan this massive event who plans on coming and who does not want to come. So this survey is the first step in us knowing who's going to come, who's not going to come. So that survey is very important. Also in that survey is a lot of important information that we're about to go over with you now. First thing I want to mention in that survey is guests. Now the district policy is going to be for this 2020 graduation, we are allowing a maximum of five guests per graduate to attend graduation. So again, five guests per graduate to show up at graduation. Next thing I want to tell everybody about, on the date of graduation, we will be providing further details in the next few weeks about what entry at the Tomato Bowl different graduates and their guests need to come into the Tomato Bowl through. We're going to assign that to our seniors. But here's a big thing, seniors. You must show up at the Tomato Bowl on June 2nd with your guests. Your guests will not be allowed to walk in the Tomato Bowl without you. So seniors, you're going to be dressed up in your cap and gown, ready to go. You must have your five guests with you right beside you when you enter those tomato bowl entrances. That's a very, very important thing. Next thing I want to go over real quick. I want to talk about social distancing. Guys, we all know this is a word that's become a part of our vernacular the last several weeks. 
And one of the reasons we've all heard this word so many times is because it works. So please expect to hear time and time again the next few weeks on videos, on announcements, over the PA system of the tomato bowl. It is absolutely essential for the safety and the well-being of our community members, our students, and our JHS and JISD staff members that we maintain proper social distancing guidelines during, before, during, and after graduation. So graduates, you are going to be seated on the field, spaced several feet apart so that we're not violating those social distancing guidelines. And people in the audience, in the crowd, will be expected to properly socially distance also. We cannot emphasize that enough. Another thing about social distancing, graduates, you are going to be provided with a commemorative class of 20, 2020 JHS mask. Our school district has been kind enough to offer you those masks and we expect you to wear them. People that are coming as guests, we also encourage you very strongly to wear masks to this graduation. Uh, health and safety is always our number one priority and we encourage everybody to wear masks that day. I will be in one also and I'll just pull it down when I speak over the microphone, but we at JHS are going to set the tone and set a good example and we're gonna wear masks also. So students, make sure you wear your mask once you get it. Next thing I wanna talk about, uh, doors at this point are expected to open at six o'clock but we are again going to assign families specific locations where they will enter the tomato bowl. Few other things to talk about. Guys, there is no rehearsal. I'm gonna write that down because it's very important. The governor has set out very strict guidelines about how in-person graduation can look. And one of the things that the governor has said is we cannot have any graduation rehearsals. That makes all the information you're watching now, all the information you're going to be emailed, that's going to be called to you over school messenger, it makes it very, very important that you follow those guidelines if this graduation is going to be a success. So the only time we're going to be able to meet with you guys is the day of the graduation, June 2nd. Hopefully that'll give you some idea of how difficult this is going to be to plan we're committed to making it happen and to making this an awesome graduation. So next thing I want to talk about are pictures. We are going to offer graduation pictures to our 2020 seniors. That'll be done through Mr. Mike Cummings. We are going to create a website just for 2020 graduation. And you'll click on that website and there'll be a link to access Mr. Cummings's webpage and to order your photos. But here's the deal, seniors. There'll only be one time to get an official photo. That'll be as you're leaving the graduation stage. You'll look up, you'll cheese, you'll smile ear to ear, hold up your diploma, and those will be the pictures that you can purchase from Mr. Mike Cummings. So we are offering senior pictures. Next thing to keep in mind, cell phones. There are no cell phones or cameras allowed on the field. So students, make sure you're leaving those phones and those cameras in the car. You cannot bring those onto the tomato bowl field. Next thing I wanna talk about real quick is dress code. This is a very, very important thing, seniors. The biggest thing about dress code at graduation is that you have to be wearing a cap and gown. If you don't have your cap and gown, you haven't gotten it yet, you didn't order it, you need to reach out to Miss Dora Smith, your senior counselor, ASAP. Almost every one of our seniors, except two or three, already have their cap and gown. So when you enter the tomato bowl with your five guests, five or fewer, you must be wearing your cap and gown. If you don't have a cap and gown, sorry guys, but you're not going to be allowed to participate in the graduation ceremony on June 2nd. So make sure you're on that in that cap and gown. Next thing about dress code, guys, we are going to send out very detailed information about what to wear, what not to wear on graduation. The first idea you're gonna have of those rules and regulations is going to be in the survey, that survey that goes out today that you must take and complete if you want to graduate. So that information is in 
that senior student survey number one that you'll see later on today. Next thing I want to remind everybody about, and I'll just call these noisemakers. Not sure if that's one word or two, but a noisemaker, so cowbells, air horns, any kind of device that makes noise, those things are still prohibited in the tomato bowl. So parents, we ask you, please do not bring those things uh, to the tomato bowl. Those things are prohibited from being brought in. Another thing to mention about noisemakers, this is a big one, balloons. Parents, community members, we love our seniors almost as much as you do, but we definitely need to be aware of not bringing balloons to the graduation, and it's a very simple reason why. Bringing balloons blocks the view of the other people in the stands. So please make sure you leave those balloons in the car or at the house for the post-ceremony celebration. Uh, please don't bring balloons into the stadium on June 2nd for graduation. Next thing I want to go over, and this is kind of a big one, guys, and I'm just going to write here, no gathering, okay? This is going to be something that's going to be strictly enforced. After the ceremony ends, probably around 9 o'clock on Tuesday, June 2nd, graduates and community members and parents, nobody will be allowed to come onto the field. Now, we know that's a proud tradition we've had at the, at the Tomato Bowl for many, many, many years. But because of the health and safety uh, commitment that we have to maintain health and safety for our students, we are not going to allow parents or guests to come down to the Tomato Bowl field. Graduates, you will also be expected at the end of the ceremony uh, to leave the building, so to speak. So we'll be announcing more details about how to exit the Tomato Bowl in the next few weeks. But the big thing, guys, to remember is we're not going to allow anybody to come down to the field after the ceremony has concluded. And graduates, you'll be expected to leave the tomato bowl. And we're doing all that to make sure we keep our students and our audience members as safe and secure as possible. Next thing I want to mention real quick, as we get closer to the actual date of graduation, so seniors, you're going to get a survey in your email today. I would strongly encourage all parents and guardians, make sure your, your seniors show you that survey so you can get an idea of that information also. Uh, we're going to be sending out another survey in the next few weeks, and we're required to do this. Each graduate and each graduate's guest is required by state law at this point to be medically screened. So students, you and your guests are going to be answering questions. Questions about, you know, do you have a fever? Have you traveled anywhere recently? What kind of symptom are you experiencing? Any kind of common COVID-19 symptoms? These things have to be done. They have to be turned in and submitted through that Microsoft form if you are going to participate in the ceremony on June 2nd. So that survey number one today and the medical screening survey that comes out in a few weeks, those things have to be completed if you're going to graduate. I'll at this time mention that that first survey, the one you're going to get today, it's due by Monday, May 18th. The quicker you finish it, the better. Students, make sure you do that. It is mandatory, but that first survey is due Monday, May 18th. The second survey, will give a due date on that once we send it out to you guys in the next few weeks. At this point, I want to transition to talk about our last thing really today, and those are senior fines and senior clearance. I think I spelled that right. So senior fines and senior clearance. Every year, seniors, uh, we keep track of who owes money, who has not returned a school-owned item uh, to the proper team or sponsor, and we're going to continue to do that this year. So seniors, if you owe money, to the library, or you haven't returned a calculator, or you haven't brought a jersey back to the football team, or to Coach Batten on the softball team, those things have to be returned, and your fines have to be paid, or you will not participate in the June 2nd graduation ceremony. So your sponsors and coaches will be reaching out to you in the next few days, 
we are going to offer a time for all seniors to come pay their fines next Monday, May 18th, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the JHS cafeteria. So remember, seniors, you have to pay your fines and return your school-owned items if you are going to participate in the graduation ceremony. Okay, concluding today, big four things you guys have to make sure, five things I should say, things that you do if you want to participate in the graduation ceremony. Number one, we'll call it survey number one. That goes out today. Make absolutely sure that you complete that, students, and send that in. Deadline is May 18th. That's next Monday. That's also your term for packet deadline. But hopefully all of you will get this survey submitted as soon as possible so we will know how many students to expect at graduation on June 2nd. The second thing to go over to remind you guys, I'm going to write five guests max. So just as another reminder, seniors, you cannot bring more than five people with you on June 2nd, the date of the graduation ceremony. Okay, so that's another reminder, five people maximum, and you seniors have to accompany those guests when you show up at the Tomato Bowl on June 2nd. Next thing I want to remind you guys about, cap and gowns are required. I'm going to write required right there and hopefully spell that correctly. That's an R there if you're looking. So cap and gowns are required, everybody. Seniors, make sure you're following the dress code. Uh, boys, make sure you're in that white shirt buttoned up with a tie on. Make sure, uh, girls, you're following the guidelines that are set out in the school survey also. <clears throat> Next thing I want to remind everybody about is the health survey. Is that an L there? The health survey is going to go out in a few weeks. And again, that's the medical screener where you guys have to answer some questions about you graduates and your guests. That'll be coming out in a few weeks, but you have to do that if you want to participate in the June 2nd ceremony. And finally, the last thing to remind you guys about are the senior fines and the clearance. As we just went over, May 18th, 10 a.m., 1 p.m., you'll be able to pay your fines. Seniors, you will not be able to graduate if you have not paid up on your fines and returned your school-owned items. Guys, thanks everybody for being patient. We hope you can refer to this video several times throughout the next few weeks. And I'll end with this reminder. We are very excited to offer this opportunity to our students. We really, really encourage our seniors and our parents to remember to be patient, flexible, and supportive as we do deal with this unprecedented situation. We are confident that we will put on a graduation that not only our seniors, but our entire community can and will be proud of. We'll be in touch. Thanks, everybody.